Our time right now, 536 this morning. The city of Lakeland holding out hope that a missing rare baby swan could be still alive. The city is hoping the swan returns to its pen. Spectrum Bay News 9's Rick Elmhorst is on scene in Lake Morton with details. A couple of weeks ago, the city was all excited about this baby swan. It was super rare. It would grow up to be a black neck swan like its parents on Lake Morton. But then, a day after it was put into this super secure pen with a lock, it went missing. You know, this may shock you, but you know what I hope happened? I hope that somebody broke into this cage and stole the swan. That's right. I hope somebody stole that swan. All right, this is JR. You were down here looking at the birds on the lake today. You're really not buying into my theory that maybe somebody stole the swan. No, I don't see the evidence on the outside. I think a gator ate it. You think a gator got into the cage. That's what the police think, that maybe a predator of some mm -hmm. sort got in here into the cage and ate that bird. Sure. I know it may be a conspiracy theory, but what if somebody somehow had a key that worked on the pen's lock and took the swan? The swan was worth thousands of dollars after all. But JR, yeah. here's the thing. The reason mm -hmm. I want the bird to have been stolen is because then it would still be alive. Don't you care about the bird? Sure I do, but it's a balance of nature. Everything's got to eat. On the outside, hope somebody would return the swan to the cage. The city took off the lock Wednesday and replaced it with a clip. What we're asking is if someone out there took that swan, We've taken the lock off pin one here at Lake Morton. <laughs> Please bring the swan back to us. So it's not just maybe a wild conspiracy theory that I'm coming up with. You're actually hoping somebody will bring it back. Yes, sir. That's exactly what we're hoping. Okay, if your conscience is bothering you, do the right thing. Rick Elmhorst, Spectrum.